Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite, and today we're headed back up to the shop. We're going to get that bumper painted finally. I haven't painted for a number of years, uh, six at least, what I can figure. Uh, I need to stop at Harbor Freight, pick up a few things that I forgot. I need an air regulator and a filter for the gun and a couple uh, couplers, air couplers, and I think we should be ready to go on that. So we're going to get that done today. I do have uh, one shout out this morning to Jimmy V. I'm not going to show his name, but he sent me a handwritten note. And this is his company here, Trailer Marketing. They're out in Kentucky, I believe. But you can uh, check out their website. They sell all kind of truck parts. And it was very kind of him. He sent me a hat. And then he sent out a couple lights for you already know who, for Daryl Jr., Daryl Jr. has been making out during this Christmas season. So, <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna enjoy my Friday. I'm gonna take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. Got it. How come you feel it so high? <laughs> it's time for work. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Wow, that was really bad. Somebody rear-ended somebody and they were going fast. Gotta be careful out here, man. There's a lot of people that are distracted and I'm not blameless, trust me. I gotta try to be more careful myself with that. I find myself distracted sometimes on my phone when I'm driving. It's not good. Oh, the house blend is, house blend is dangerously low. Come on, come on. Got it. Good morning, Ms. Z. Good, it's Friday. Yes, it is. I am so thrilled. I am at the yard waiting for Daryl at 742. Once he gets here, we're going to run back to my house because I forgot the paint inside. I brought it inside last night to keep it warm because it's, you know, it's below freezing and the, the paint will be all thick. But I forgot it when I left this morning. So we're going to run back there and then we're going to run... Uh, straight to Harbor Freight. They open at 8, so they'll be open. Get the things that we need and then run to the shop and get started. It's going to be a short day of work today. Um, all I want to do is get that bumper painted so I can start wiring it next week, Monday. Um, then we're going to go to my friend's uh, shop. He's also having a snowcross race there tomorrow. By the time you guys see this video, it will already be over. But I am going live today to kind of try to promote it a little bit, get some, more, get a few more people there. I'm gonna be there. Uh, Daryl's gonna be there, and just do like a little, very very short notice fan meetup. So it should be a lot of fun. Daryl's here. Did you open up the shop for the. Uh, we need the ends. No. We need I'm just gonna go to Harbor Freight and get new ends. We don't even know what size they are. Yeah, I know. We gotta it's we gotta figure go it out. Door. Huh? You gotta go in the drawer and grab one. I don't even have my keys. Oh. What's wrong with you? I am back at Finish Master. I gotta get some primer. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Do you remember me? From the old location? I remember you. You gotta remember me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It was always you in April. Yeah. That's true. It's been a long time. Okay, okay. bring it back a memory. Quite a sort of, yeah. It's been a while. I'm just going to talk to, well, you probably know. I need some, I forgot to get epoxy primer last night. Okay. So. You bought, you bought uh, 3.5 HG black okay. at Hartner. So you need the 52588 five? Okay, give, give me the 525. You know, yeah. and, uh, What's your name, Ryan? Did you remember that out yes. of the... Yes. <laughs> see, not, <laughs> see bring it, bring it now you remember. <laughs> That's really good, actually. Come back. 
All right, well, thanks again. Yeah, no problem. We'll see you soon. Take care and enjoy your painting. Yes, today's the day we finally get started. OWI.com. Surgery restriction supply. You receive a diagnosis from a doctor. You do some reading about it. Talk with your loved ones about it. We just pulled into Harbor Freight again because we need some more stuff. It takes a while to get a shop set up. I'll be working on the shop all winter, buying things and organizing things and getting it set up just the way that we need it to be able to work on just about anything. No, it goes like, it goes like this and then your oh, gun is okay. here. So you filter the air and then you can, you know, adjust the pressure. So this end will thread into there then. And then the gun will plug into there. So I think we got everything. You know? Teflon tape. Well the air gun's gonna be You don't put oil in a you don't put oil in a sprayer, dude. <laughs> the conditioner. No. That's one of your worst you ideas. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good night. Yep. Menards, Menards. Uh, Do you have like box fans, air movers? I'm looking yep. for an air mover. There's one right there. Right here. Thank you. Appreciate that. If we paint any big stuff, we'll probably have to use MacGyver's shop. Because he's got the exhaust fan, the paint booth, you know? Uh -huh. And he's got the nice lights in there. We'll just paint the small stuff in our shop. And then this one here, or that. No. You want to take a of warranty on that thing? No. Okay. Hey, I'm going to start getting the metal ready. Okay. So I'll get All the, the hoses hooked up, get yep. the air mover thing, and get everything out and unbox and all that. I don't have a lot of time to work. We don't have a lot of time to work here today because we got to go over by that track. I know. All right, we got to heat it up in here pretty hot. We got to warm this metal up. I'm going to start grinding and wire wheeling and cleaning this really good. So the plan is we're going to we're going to back it kind of close to the door, open that door a little bit, put the air mover, and then I'll crack that door so we can get some airflow coming across here and get some of the overspray out the door. I just hit everything with a flap disc. It does a really good job at shaping metal without gouging it and then uh, cleaning it obviously and then taking off any of the little splatter from the welding. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put a wire wheel on and actually clean the welds themselves in all the corners and edges. And then once I'm done with the back, I gotta crawl up under there and do the same thing on the inside. Right, Daryl? Otherwise, we'll just plug this into the old compressor, or the, I should say the little compressor, if I have to. I don't know if it'll keep up or not, but we can try. Until you're ready. Probably like a good hour, I would say an hour at least. At least. Huh? What time is it? Hey, uh, didn't they give you the old 10 30, one? 11 30. I gave you the old one, right? The one that was off the compressor, we'll need that. Yeah, I got it. it. We'll need that to put it on for now because I need this end for here. So we gotta close that up so we can run the heat. There's there's really not much to do here. I'll squirt this out in about nice ten really minutes. Nice. You like it? Yeah, it looks really nice. All right, that I was beautiful. I was waiting for a compliment from you. Yeah, that is that looks beautiful. How's that? Thank you. And and you know, I, I am a welder, and except for the moment where I've got trouble with mine right now. Yeah, I I'm know. still having trouble. 
got a handgun blaster too. I wish I had one because I can't get any any of these corners. You want to use it? Yeah, I could back this outside for a few. I mean, really, it's just the backside, just to get in those little insect yeah, yeah, corners. I yeah. Because I don't. Yeah, I've got a handheld one. Does it work okay? Yeah. Hey, Daryl. What? You want to follow him over? He's got a little handheld sand blaster. Yeah. Hold on. You got you got a little bit of sand or no? I could pick some up otherwise. I'll pay for it. I mean, I don't. I just realized when I was wire wheeling behind here that there's not going to be anything to zip tie the wiring to so i'm going to cut four pieces of angle iron put two on this side two on the other and we can drill holes in the angle iron that way when the wires come out of everything i'll bring them back here zip tie zip tie and then and then through the frame there you don't really want to think of stuff after you've painted because it burns the paint off and then you kind of have to fix it and it's ugly so i realized that and then i realized that i need to drill the holes for my airbags so I have to do that and then I also need to put a big hole through so I can fit the plug for the salter so I'm gonna cut a hole uh, maybe here right above here Daryl's pulling a truck out MacGyver's let me borrow his super mini sand blaster I'm just gonna get those little corners where I couldn't reach with the grinder real quick and then we're going to wipe it down and then I'm going to mix the paint and spray it while well, I mix the primer first. Spray it, let that dry and then hit it with a couple coats of paint. That works good, man. Right into the corners, perfect. Problem is you kind of, you gotta let the sand just pour out of the thing because it doesn't really regulate at all with this. It's not very good, but hey, that's all I got right now. We're almost ready to paint. Daryl's wiping everything down with wax and grease remover. I'm gonna tape off the edge there, the top edge. And I'm gonna mix up some epoxy primer and, and hit it real quick. I wanna make this clear that I am not a professional painter. I am a hobbyist. So I know there's gonna be painters that come on here and they're like, you should have done this, you should have done it that way. Like, I understand, nobody taught me how to do this. I just kind of taught myself and learned. So I kind of sort of know what I'm doing. I've, ta I've painted several vehicles and a whole bunch of, you know, ladder racks and pin boxes and all that stuff too. So I kind of have a clue, but I'm, I'm not an expert. So a lot of guys come on YouTube and they talk about how they know this and that, and they really don't. And then they get ridiculed. I'm the opposite. I'm telling you that I don't know what I'm doing for the most part. <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time. Wow, I should have had to mix these. This has been sitting on a shelf for a long time. Yeah, I got a paint shaker. You do, really? As a matter of absolute fact, I just fixed it yesterday, you heard me. Okay. Bring the can. That needs to be, that one's bad. This one's not the greatest either, but. Well, you want to tighten it up, but you don't want to go too tight? Right. That was nice that he had a shaker. Really nice. I just put this mask together and I went to put it on the very, the mask itself, it looks fine. You know, everything looks good. The strap looks good. I went to click it in the back and look at this. It's broken already. This is the cheapest thinnest little piece of plastic i've ever seen in my life like everything else on this thing looks halfway decent and this is broke 
That's unbelievable. So this is going back to the store. That's disappointing right there. We're gonna mix this up. It's uh, two parts and one part. And then we'll stir it up, give it some time. I'm gonna reduce it a little bit because this stuff is really, really thick. It won't be able to spray. And then, uh, and then we'll go to town. I'm gonna add just a splash of reducer in there. I made too much on accident, but that's all right. I gotta get back into the swing of things. So I don't know if this is true or not, but in the past, I always used to, because somebody told me this at one point, but with the epoxy, you're supposed to let it sit for like 10 minutes and then mix it up again before you put it in the gun. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but I'm gonna do it because nobody's ever told me not to. If you know, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely read it. I will mention this before I paint. So if this were something more important, there's one more step that you would do right now. I use a tack cloth. It's kind of a special cheesecloth. It's sticky and it'll get all the dust residue. You kind of wipe it, you keep folding it over and you wipe it and it picks up all the dust off the surface. For something like this, that's, it's not necessary. I really don't care. As long as it's shiny black and protected, I'm gonna be happy. You always run it through a paper filter like that. It screens out any little particulates. It's a real fine filter in the bottom of this cone here. I don't know what to do. Do you want to try to tie it behind yeah. my head after I put it on or what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, got it. Does that work? Yeah. Good. The compressor's not keeping up. No? No, I'm losing all my air. I mean, I'm gonna get it done, but this is the only thing we can paint with this. Oh, yeah. It, it just doesn't have it. I'm losing all my air. Yeah, I'm gonna get it done with this and this compressor, but it just doesn't have enough. Yep, that came out pretty good. I was fighting because I didn't have any air pressure. That thing wasn't even close to keeping up. So I would start and it would start nice. And then a few seconds later, my pressure would drop and then I was struggling, but I got it on there. That's all that matters. Same thing with the paint. I just need to get it on there. We're gonna get the right connectors for that compressor for next time. I just wanted to get this little project out of the way. So that looks good. I'm gonna run over to my friend's house, check out his snowmobiles, let this dry, and we'll come back a little later, and then I'll hit it with black. We're just pulling in here. They're having their practices. 
Oh man, you can smell that race fuel right away. It smells so good. Look at this jump. That's crazy. Where should we go? I just want to. We're just gonna make a. We're just gonna hang out for like an hour. Yeah. Uh, Hike down there on the right. Go all the way around. All right. Thanks. This ain't the same one from yesterday. Again? This ain't the same sled as yesterday, is it? No, it is. Is it really? It you guys fixed it right up? Yeah. Man. Oh, it looks brand new. Oh yeah, you never even tell. How's it going? You remember me, right? You doing good this year? Yeah. Good to see you again. Were you out there already? Yeah. That's good. When do you get to ride a big one? Whenever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad owns a track, you can ride whatever you want. Exactly. That's super cool, man. Man, I gotta try to talk him into doing like a 300 pound or more class. Then I can race. In real life, yeah. It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. You, if you know how to stay out of his way. Daryl, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so he, so he pumps the water from the pond to make the snow. Yeah, but then when it melts, it goes right back into the pond, pumps it right back into snow. That works out pretty good though. It is cool. All right, well, we're gonna take off. We're gonna go back to the shop. Should only take about 45 minutes to get that painted real quick. Yep. And then we're done for the day. We were driving out and we forgot to put our banner up. ain't too bad it is 417 we are back at the shop we're gonna turn this bumper black pretty much as fast as I can and then I'm gonna go home because I am tired that looks real nice should be nice and dry now don't touch with your greasy hands it's ready to go oh you can't shake it like that man you gotta shake it hard like hard that's better you gotta do that for five minutes, it says on the instruction. You see I got it on the number four? Mm -hmm. That's four parts. Okay. Then I'll bring it up to the number five. That's one part. After I open it. It's really important. You open it. And you go to the five. Hup! Right there. Yep. Now we'll mix it up. That should be plenty. Oh yeah. I'm gonna give it two good coats. All right, Daryl's tying up a respirator again. Good. Good enough.
but overall for a bumper it looks awesome i'm gonna take that tape and paper off and see what it looks like when i've painted vehicles my favorite part it's probably everybody's favorite part is when you remove the tape Oh, don't want to do that. That's it. Problem is now but my bumper looks a lot better than the uh, original factory bumper. <laughs> I should have painted the whole thing. I'm really happy with it. It's going to look cool once we get all the lights in there and light it up like a tree. I got a little overspray right here. Yep. Let me get that off of there. All right, let's go. Let's see once all the lights are in there. Oh, the lights would make all the difference. Lights and the license plate. Once it's all lit up, strobe lights going. What about the backup? These backup lights. Backup alarm? Yeah, we need a backup alarm too. Yeah. All right, we are done for the day. I just need to clean up the gun and we're out of here. So the bumper turned out pretty good. It's got a nice thick coat of epoxy primer. Actually, two coats on the back, and then two coats of Imran. Should offer some pretty good protection from rusting. And I know there's probably a lot of pro painters that'll see this and be like, you didn't do that, you should have did this. Look, I know, I'm not a professional. I just wanted to turn it black. I have a lot to learn about painting. I know just enough to be dangerous. So, um, bumper just needs to be wired on Monday, and that's it. Then we can move on to the next project. I'm not sure what we're going to do next, if we're going to continue working on this truck or move on to something else, but there's a lot to do. So we'll be back here next week with a bunch more work. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Adios, and I won't scratch the bumper. Okay, this is the next day. We are headed to the snowmobile races. Eric already put a video out of this, so I decided just to show some highlights of it. I did want to mention with the World of Concrete coming up next week, if you guys see me there or if I catch you there and you're wearing a victory hat or hoodie, make sure you come up and talk to me. I'm going to have something special, a special gift for you. I hope to see a bunch of you guys there. I'm looking forward to it. Hello. Hi there. We're back again. Okay, got your wristbands? Uh, no, we're... Ryan's my friend. He had us come for video promotion gotcha. yeah thank you Alrighty. he said we have a rk compound all access path there you go. that's what he called it i don't okay. know that. <laughs> thank you uh -huh. right we're here we made it <laughs> got it all right all right i brought a bunch of hats because i invited some people here and i told them the first 10 people to find me gets a free hat. They're the cool American flag back ones. And I will have these for sale kind of towards the spring. We're working on a website right now. And it's beautiful out. It's about 26 degrees right now. Sun's out. There's no wind. It's pretty much ideal for watching snowmobile races. Yup. You can't get rid of it. Ooh, hats. These? <laughs> Even people that don't know us want hats. Come on. <laughs> Look at the little kids. Oh. Hey, Victory Outdoor Services. Hey. What's going on, guys? Good. Dude, I love watching your guys' stuff on YouTube. Daryl, really what's going on, man? Not much. <laughs> How's it going? You ready? Yeah, of course. Yes, sir. <laughs> what kind of work are you doing? Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, I'm, you're welcome. I am in uh, IT work. Daryl, Daryl, Ryan. How's it going? Good. It's really good. How are you? Good, good. My you 10 hats, my 10 hats aren't going to last very long. I didn't think they would. No. <laughs> Eric. Nice to meet you, Eric. Yeah. You know my uncle. I do? Yes, you do. What's Mr. his name? Mr. Horseman. Oh, Tom? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Tom's a good guy. Yep. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, okay. Uh -huh. All right. Yep. So. Good. Man, my 10 hats, I just I got know. here. I should have brought more. Oh, no awesome. Just got here. What's your name? Zach. Zach, nice yep. to meet you. And We've been watching you for a while. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So. Yeah, come on in, come on in. 
That hat is so cool. You got to be in the picture. Where are you guys from? Uh, north of Appleton. Oh, okay. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. See you all over the oh, Man. You hiring? There you go. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Do you know how to finish concrete? <laughs> I got a little bit of experience. All right, you're gone. <laughs> I'm Jesse. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I literally just got here. My hats are gone. We only made it like 100 feet so far. So. Oh, squeezing right here, I guess. Yeah. Guys, just talking about those rollers getting big over there. And I don't know if the throttle. You're a finisher? Grab the throttle trying to hold on or something. No. But we'll get you a report as soon as we know how that is over there. Rounding off the field, Lincoln Scar. Hey, Eric. What's up? All right, we're going to do going? some track grooming because pro-ams are next, so you'll have nice a little time, but you don't want to miss What's the pro-am races. Miguel? And then wow. we're going into our features. How you doing? What's up? Going to be less races. You should have named him Daryl. <laughs> More competition. Visit vid the... Uh, visit See the sign? The, what's that? Is that a new word? Visit the food stand. Jackson Moonlighters Snowmobile Club. Be happy to wrecked, set yeah. you up with That's them. good. Hamburger, cheeseburger, chicken tenders, mini corn dog. The races don't really start until like 3.30. Right now is more of the practices and stuff like that. But I thought it'd be a good time to come. Where did your dad go? I watch your videos all the time. Yeah, thank you. VIP only? Oh, okay. How's it going? Big fan of the channel. Oh, thank you. Yeah, got good content. Got a hat for you. Yeah. So what do you do? Uh, I'm a mechanic. Are you? Industrial, industrial stuff, so like forklifts. Oh, okay. You cars, did, did every equipment. Yeah? Sure, uh, it's all yours. Now I don't have to carry hats anymore. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. Nice to meet you, too. Hope you're enjoying your hospitality easy money, over there. Easy money. Very easy. ABC Builder nice Supply amazing. and Roland Transport. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, good. I'm Tara. Techno Alpin. My kids. Nice to meet you. I found your channel about two months oh, ago. Oh, okay, right on. We've been really loving it. Already talked I about snow studs over it. there. Yeah? It's been yeah. really cool. Oh, oh good, good. Sports Sports Millennium Technologies is a sponsor. Oh, man. You can't see at all. I know. We should have a party like this in our shop. Oh, right. <laughs> Conquer's here. I know. We should buy one. Buy two of them. I know. One for me and one for Daryl Jr. Exactly. Uh, double frame, heavy duty suspension. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very. We need like four shocks on each side. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> and then some fries. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mike. Yeah. So I'm from Madison. I, I watch oh, are you? Time. Oh, yeah. cool. I work for a construction company in Madison. And one, one sec. some money for a sled? I got one. We just adjust the shocks a little. You guys see any racing? Yeah. Well, yeah, we were out there for a while already. Do you stay for the night one? Of course. That's why I came. It's uh, almost 4 o'clock. They're going to start racing now. We're going to walk around by the pits.
You want Daryl to fix this thing for you? I'll fix it or I can drive it. Whatever yeah, you why don't you take it out for me? I'm yeah, all right, yeah, all right. <laughs> what are you guys doing today? Just watching you guys. Yeah. I'm gonna take Daryl snowmobiling up north. Can rent some? I don't think you could handle the cold. You'd turn into an icicle in about 10 minutes. I think I can. Even with your face mask. I, I think I can. <laughs> hey, if you get one small one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Are you gonna win? Uh, nah. Okay. Are you gonna win? <laughs> you say yes. Of course I'm gonna win. <laughs> and then if you don't win, you make an excuse. You got. <laughs> that's that's what you do. You gotta have the confidence first, though. Hello. It's got fuel. Oh, yeah. Clean clutch, good yep. belt. Yep. All right, ready to go. Okay, it's good to go. That looks really expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah. Not in a race, man. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, just in a practice. Like, yeah. racing is dangerous. No, yeah. Riding snowmobiles no. yeah. is super fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, little bumps. <laughs> I was thinking we're going to go rent some up north. Because in Manaqua, they rent them. It's like 250 bucks oh, yeah. for, for a whole That's day. Where I'm from. Oh, really? Yeah. There's like three rental places up there. Yeah. RR, &R, Lakeland Power Sports, and probably. I saw them online. Rides. I saw them online yeah. last Lakeland night. Lakeland Power Sports is one of my title sponsors. That's oh, really? Solid go to those guys yeah shout out to lakeland power sports right. maybe they'll give me like a ten dollar coupon <laughs> <laughs> what's that schmidt's pretty good it is yeah yeah schmidt's is pretty good see we were getting from dodge yeah. Yeah. Like yeah look at the red bull truck it looks like it's just all custom made I mean, I don't know what kind of frame they used. What did, what's the frame? Dodge Ram. It's a Dodge Ram? Yep. Okay. Is it 2,500? 15. Really? Yeah. It's just a half ton. Yeah. How's the handling going on the road? Pretty good. Yeah. They're about to start the better races. Okay. Well, like real soon. You remember oh, where he lives? Wow. Oh no, you didn't show up for that job. <laughs> he didn't remember he yeah. wasn't there. <laughs> you met my mom? Really? Oh yeah, so that's awesome. Took we took our picture with her at B52 oh, a few weeks ago. Oh, she, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. She said she might send it to you. We're from Beaver Dam. Yeah. We watch the channel. We watch every video. We love the channel. Thank you. That's came awesome. Here to meet you guys. Really? Yeah, Michael. Hey, can I get a picture with oh, you? Of real course, quick? of course. Awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah, I want, no problem. I want two in here too. Oh yeah, man. I, I love you in the videos. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Here, <laughs> let me get in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, man. So what's the uh, what's the schedule right now? We're on probably race 14, maybe 15. Okay. It goes to 21. Okay. Then they're gonna have a grooming break of about 20 to 30 minutes. Yep. And then we're doing the Dominator. Okay. So the guys that are running the last normal race here are most of them are gonna be in the Dominator. So they get a little break, refuel the sled. Yeah. They always working on them. Yeah, know? I know. I saw that before. So. Your kid, your kid won that one heat I saw. Yeah, he took my one in the trans took third. Yeah? Yeah? That's awesome. In the older class, too. That's uh, 9 to 13. We're going to run over by the show. It's nice to meet you guys. So they just finished the the final and now they're regrooming the track they're going to do the dominator race it's side by side racing for five thousand dollars that was pretty cool man thank you hey, yeah. you guys have a good night all right thanks you too nice see you man have a good night you too yes sir
was a good race. Very cool. There's one more race. All right. The way the race started? Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. You don't get the off of crap. The fastest 10 are signed up. The winner will get five grand. We're running two people at a time, head to head. Winner goes on, loser goes to the loser bracket. We loser. keep going that way till we have three. I know. Oh, there they are. Ready, go. We're going so slow. Everybody starts booing. I know. They're throwing so at us. You guys stink. Throwing their beers at oh, him. Yeah. <laughs> right there on an absolutely beautiful track. Who's gonna have it? The three of Peterson. Three lap race though. Almost tripling it in the rhythm section. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Girls, I think it's time for you to make a little noise for Moline. <laughs> So the only girl racing yeah, with the boys. <laughs> Representing. That's a lot of pressure on the Just guy. Just listen to the rasp of that exhaust. I love it. I love it. Nice hole shot by somebody. Holy over jumping. My goodness. It's Malin. Malin with the lead over the 72 of Devin Denman out of Beaver Dam. This is going to be a good race, I think. Denman almost makes the triple. Ho, ho, ho. He's going for it, though. Not as much as it used to, sure. She got it. Oh, oh! Girls, Malene wins her. Malene wow. takes it. All right, this is it. Last race of the night. Five thousand dollars. No more missing. Side by side, only Madro. The number three of Adam Peterson goes to two. I think right behind him. One straight away. So there's another race coming up February 4th right here in Hartford. I'll mention it again before it comes up, but we'll probably stop at that one as well. This was awesome. What'd you think, Junior? That was great. What'd you think? I loved it. That's the best. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Shout out to Ryan, who gave us the invite. Yes, thank you, Ryan. That was awesome. And didn't charge us anything to come in? No. I know it's super dark in here, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Adios. Adios.